Hello there everyone and welcome back to more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Last episode definitely felt painful but it was a miraculous success nonetheless. For I believe just that one episode alone I gained 7 million sea bills worth of profit from my missions as well as maybe the, the Centaurian and a couple of mechs I ended up selling through that. And it did cost me a couple of components but despite feeling down and feeling like they weren't the best missions, the profits, the funds say otherwise. So I'm ready to continue on and actually get underway with repairing these mechs. And sadly the closest industrial zone I have, on top of the fact that there's rare mechs here, that might involve going to the Draconis Combine, which they do not like me very much. So I don't expect to spend a whole lot here, but we have the money to afford a little bit of cash to help increase our chances of success. Although really, what else, what do I really want to buy aside from maybe something that's heavier or a lot more firepower? Probably not, nothing at all if I were to be honest. Oh, there's a Jenner for sale here. Don't care so much, especially since this is one that only has four lasers and it doesn't have the SRMs. Which, hell, my current Jenner probably would fit this role a little bit better since I could just strip the, SR, uh, strip the SRM4 and get basically the same kind of stats. So I don't expect this to be of use. And it's the only mech that's apparently available here as well. Oh, that's inventory. I don't want to sell stuff. But I do want to buy stuff and good god, I'm really tempted to buy some of these uh, tier 2 and tier 3 type of auto cannons. Let's try not to splurge too much because I want some small lasers because I'm gonna need a handful to replace the ones that are lost on the fire star sadly and alas we don't have any of this sort we have so I may actually get ooh we got an LRM 10 tier 1 since I do currently have that for my uh, Centurion well I got plenty of regular LRMs there's not a big reason to have the stream let me just double check my inventory yeah I have nine of the regular LRM 10s the LRM-10 stream visually looks better and a lot more appealing to me, but they're the exact same type of weapon. I don't think there's any real difference in size for the visuals, so it's not worth grabbing at. So what I'm going to do here is grab a couple of the Autocan 10s, at least the higher tier ones, and look for possibilities of making use of them. Although with the likeliness of losing them, I'm going to wait until I get a nice stockpile perhaps, especially since again, I'm paying quite extra for this place, or at least buying anything here. And thankfully, a lot of these mechs are going to repair really damn quickly. So 10 days for Shadowhawk. The Dragon unfortunately was one of the more heavily damaged type of mechs. Never mind the fact that I lost the uh, Autocannon 5 and a little bit of ammo. At least I can swap that for a regular Autocannon 5. Since I don't really like... Mm, now you're just tempting me with the tier 2. You're really tempting me with that tier 2, but we'll leave it be for now until... I can feel more comf comfortable with that. So medium laser, we'll throw it on there. When should I realistically start putting this on? Well, really, for components that are really, really hard to destroy, like the center torso, ideally I'll put the higher tier stuff on them. Maybe headpieces as well. Since that's currently what I'm doing for my Centaurian, but everything else is tier 1. I feel like that's a good uh, compromise. And I believe I'm missing LRM to ammo. Which, how many missiles do we get? 440 rounds. I would like extra armor, I'm not going to lie for a thing. Especially if it's going to be an AI using it a lot of the time. I feel like maybe I can get away with that. We'll have to play test and see though, because that maxes out the armor almost perfectly. So I can't ask for a whole lot more here. Well, the leg armor is a little bit vulnerable. Only catch. So for the sake of kind of maybe tricking AI to balance things out, I'll put a little bit of armor on the legs. At least to confuse it a little bit more, I since I think the AI, if they want to hit a component, they're likely going to hit it with their near perfect aim. I don't know the specifics, I never looked into it, but I think it r randomizes a dice roll to determine if it hits the component or even hits at all. 
based on, of course, what kind of skill the mech pile is on top of other things. And this fire starter, I'm not going to be able to replace the small lasers, the only downside here, so... Alas, we're going to be sticking with, again, trying to repa replace those over time. Since everything else is good, it's just the three, laser it's the three lasers we're missing. So we'll just get to repairs, the essentials out of the way. Phoenix Hawk, you took a little bit of damage, you lost a machine gun and a medium laser. Simple enough to replace. And for that reason, we'll just stick with the tier 1 equipment so far. Although, the higher tier stuff normally will mean my mechs perform better, so I should seriously consider trying to revamp them for higher tier stuff. Because after all, I got a friggin' tier 2 PPC, but... I think I'll seriously consider that when I can retrofit or upgrade all the mechs, or at least a large majority of them to have the tier 2 and tier 3 stuff. So that way there's a notable improvement, and not just a very minute one that probably will do nothing for me. So, Jaeger mech, you, I like to say you did pretty well there, but just due to how long that uh, assassination mission dragged out, you did suffer a good amount of attrition damage over time, especially with, again, my opponents trying to fixate on arms. But salvage helps alleviate that. Now, Jenner, you took... Uh, you only lost a leg, actually. Nothing severe outside of just repair work. So you're in good shape. Satorin did lose an autocan 10. That was my own undoing, alas. And I dragged out how long it would be take to repair it. And I'm just realizing I don't have an auto a tier 1 autocan 10. So I'm kind of forced to take an upgrade version a little bit. And even then, tier 3 is not that significant up an upgrade, it looks like. At least compared to the tier 2. So, I'm okay with taking the tier 2 for now. How much of an improvement? 0.5 damage is all it is. This is another reason why I want to upgrade all the mechs, or at least the majority of the mechs at once, to really compound and take advantage of these upgrades. And otherwise, any components that are really secure, I'll probably throw them on there. And actually, let me sort of autocan ammo on the legs to kind of protect that torso a bit more. That might be a mistake with how the AI functions now that I think of it. And, oh yeah, and let's not forget the LRMs because I was talking about that earlier, wasn't I? So 26 days for that. Mainly due to repairing the arm and all that. And Javelin, you took very minor damage if I remember correctly. Hell, you even still have jump jets. A lot of good that does me, huh? Because you're not really using them. And I can't really make use of an additional half ton. Unless I want to cut out more armor. Or put armor on the hood, which seems unnecessary if I were to be honest. And four days is a simple uh, saying to ask of me. So they'll be repaired over time before we get back to the conflict zone. And 13 days of that we'll be traveling to the system to see what's available. And I think I only burnt like about a million sea bills roughly on those auto cannons. So we should be okay. Gotta keep in mind though, 25% increased funding or uh, costs because of my reputation. So, okay, take that back. I spent like almost 2 mil. A Centaurian here. I'm tempted, I'm not gonna lie, having extra Centaurians, but again, t paying an additional 25%. The only reason I came here was to maybe do some repairs. So what do we have for basics? Auto can 10 burst fire. That's half a million there. And funny enough, the regular... Well, these aren't upgrade auto cans, that's... So never mind what I was going to say there. I was going to say how these regular auto can 10s were cheaper. So I'll buy one of these for good measure, maybe. I'm just curious, does the penalty, the markup in... Do I pay a flat 500,000 is what I'm wondering? Yes, I did. I was just looking there. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that when I get to Davion Space. Large lasers, we'll worry about that later since none of my mechs are utilizing it. 
and a couple machine guns for good measure since they're really damn cheap. Otherwise, get a couple spare SRM4s. Don't think I'm using any SRM2s currently. And half ton of autocan ammos, or half ton of any of the ammo that I'm currently using, can be useful for certain situations to free up a little bit of touch when I'm not using all my ammo. And is there any tier zeros to sell like these flamers? Although again, it's a markup here. So maybe I could start stocking up on those to sell elsewhere. Simply put, we're done with the repairs. There's no other reason to go in these other industrial zones unless I'm going to make a, no, I was going to say make a detour one of these two zones or systems. I don't even need to go here because I've already decided I'm not going to do the high value mission. So we should continue our way to the campaign mission. So we got a multi uh, deployment mission here, which I think I'm inclined to do. And there's another one up here. As well as the demolition. What's the time? 20 days on both. So we'll go to Attics. Head there. See about a little bit extra profit and maybe I'll set course towards Terra. If repairs are necessary. And everything is all up and operational. Perfect. So we can handle pretty much anything that's being thrown at us. Hopefully I don't have to face off against Davion. That's my only concern. Which hopefully is not the case. Katrina is, well hell, one of these is for Davion. And we're fighting against the Draconis Combine yet again. Both of them are against the Draconis Combine. It's another three mission operation, so... Gotta keep that in mind, but it is lower difficulty. So we'll start with the simple one, the Demolition. And see if I can get away with this nice and quick. And I still got plenty of negotiation. So I'm free to do whatever the hell I wish here. We're almost maxed out perfectly. It is 12 days duration. But the... I don't know if that's the entire multi-operation, to be honest, at 22 days or what. But I kind of dislike the idea of burning 66 days if that's for every single mission. If I were to be honest. Oh well. This is a good starting point and we'll see how we fare. It is easier difficulty than one I've already faced. And our pilot is currently injured, but he is recovering nicely. So there is that. Now, what's our tonnage looking like with that said? 70 tons, so I can upgrade quite nicely. And this is demolition. So... Oh yeah, and the Firestar I'm currently is the mech I have, so I want to switch that out too. I'm kind of wondering if I want to throw a Jaeger mech in here or not. I'm seriously wondering if I should. Because I think I want to go swift hit and run type of style if I can afford it. Since it worked so well before, I'm just wondering if, that, if I can get away with it again. Since the only downside with doing this, or doing those demolitions before, was just how much open space there was. They could shoot me while I was trying to destroy the objective, as opposed to like big high structures I can hide my units behind. So hopefully this doesn't hurt me too much, at least to warrant the pay. That's my only real concern, but I think what happened there is I also told my lance to hold fire accidentally. So that slowed things down a bit too. I'm always, I'm still trepidatious despite how profitable that last episode was, and we immediately burnt like 4 mil before even doing a mission, so let's not get too complacent, but there wasn't really any new mechs for me just yet, so I think we're good. Just continue to earn that payday. And how far do we go? Industrial infrastructure will destabilize the opposition's grip on this region. Something our benefactors are willing to spend a great deal of sea bills to see done. Yep, just wreck everything from this distance, huh? 
Although, maybe I'm just calling reinforcements doing that. I don't know if that's a good idea or not to fire as much as I am. Kill everything. The more we kill, the more salvage we get. And I did tell everyone to move forward, including my general. Let's keep that in mind. That's probably a bad idea to send the general up. Everyone get into the structures now. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. Let's see if we could kill you quickly at least. Nope, not. Not the case. Can we wreck this stuff? Wreck everything. We're doing well at least. I'm just worried for my health of my lance mates. And with this jamming it makes it a little bit difficult to know. If I were to be honest. Okay, sounds like they're dealt with. Perfect. That's it, Commander. You completely destroyed this area. Great work. Best get to the evac point now before more reinforcements arrive. Sounds like a plan to me. Firestar, you did not die yet. I'm really unhappy with you right now. Yeah. Destroy. Now stop Don't fooling around. Let's finish this up. Taking leg damage. Focus target updated. Yep, I'm the only one who took the most damage, so. Despite how costly it was for me before, that was a pretty damn good mission, I think. Lower difficulty may have had something to do with it. Now let me just back up and hopefully we can kill the spider as a bonus, huh? Nope, not likely. Jenner is crippled. Good god, what is it with you and your rear armor getting hit? That terrifies me when I look at that health bar and every single time that Jenner's rear armor is exposed. Every single goddamn time. It's a little annoying, but we're due for a heavier upgrade. Hell, it even makes me wonder if maybe I should put more heavy, more armor on the rear. If I were to be serious. And we ranked up to perfect. Perfect, perfect. Damage taken was only 195,000. Pretty damn good. No mechs, alas. But I'll happily take any salvage it has for me. Especially in the autocannons and the lasers. What about... Well, we have a small laser. I might as well take these tier zeros just in case. Might as well spit out the fire star for crying out loud. Get some use out of it that way. So 1.1 mil out of that. And my damage cost again was only 190,000. So I say that's pretty good. Outside the additional time and cost for repairing in the conflict zone. Especially for the Jenner, how is that going to look for repairs? 8 days. And it's take yeah, it's only forty percent more cost. I'm okay with that. And I'm wondering if I go with half a ton of SRM ammo for what I said already. To give this thing a little more rear armor, cause you are terrifying me repeatedly with that damn it, you stink of Jenner. And I don't like it. There, that should help a tiny bit. Not much, but it should help a tiny bit. 
almost so that I kind I do wonder if maybe if I strip out some armor on the front it's for the reader that might help a bit oh well it should still be improvement for no downside if I were to be honest it just elongated the repairs you eight days perfect 12 days on Centaurian, so that's about the same as my, uh, yep, Jenner. And what about you? 10 days there. Everything looks simple. That cost me, what, about another 200 fouls? Well, that was the repair cost, remember, it just showed me that for crying out loud on the mission briefing. So I just spent the money that it told me the cost would be on top of 40% extra. And at least that saves me from jumping around. Because yeah, 20 days over, 20 days back. It's a little more efficient with my time. Oh wait, the traitor. Huh. Oh, is, is it because I was already there? That the high reward quest became available? Because that looks like the same mission as what I read before. Yes, it is. I was just wondering why was that available when I'm not even in the system. But okay, I'll go with it. Now comes the tricky part, which is the three operation mission. So demolition, defense, and war zone. Actually, before I forget, let's put some gear. Ooh, a griffin. I'm half tempted to grab you because I would like a long range fire support mech. But Phoenix Hawk can sort of serve that as well. So maybe I should wait until I maybe I get an archer or something. But let me refit this fire star to get small lasers in. Sure, they're only going to be tier zeros and a tier one. I do have a tier two. If I, which I could seriously consider throwing on here. And that actually fills out all the slots perfectly. Just got to keep this thing alive for it to really matter. And it only takes eight days. So Barrage, you're going to be all set for our operation. We'll have two lances and mechs. Ready for this. And hopefully, the first mission can be very light on damage. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because I like me some salvage. Who doesn't like salvage? It's not really enough to get mechs, but maybe I'm okay with grabbing components. I am just worried if this is going to be for all three missions or for just a single mission this 22 days. I would hate to burn two months just sitting here. But oh well. We're here. Let's grab the money. Put just under three million if we succeed with all three of them. So demolition, defense, and war zone. I want my biggest, most powerful mechs, or at least most resilient mechs for that to maybe get some bonus, bonus cash in. And tonnage limit is 200 tons. So I'm going to take the fire starter to start us off. A little bit of a lighter array of mechs, but I don't want them all to be like mechs since I would like to keep a full squad too. Since I have 200 tons to work with, so... I do want to plan this out a tiny bit. If they can all... Hmm. Which bigger mech am I okay with uh, taking heavy damage? I think the Shadowhawk is the biggest profile and it has the speed to keep up, honestly. 81 kph. Same speed as the Dragon. So now's the question. I'm still under tonned. I can go bigger if I so wish, but currently I have two lights in bay. I'm just trying to plan out if all three of these light mechs are, up, are da too damaged to take into the battle, how would my tonnage look? So I can get 450 tonnes basically. And I can downgrade a tiny bit. But I don't really... Yeah. Two of my mechs are way too heavy if I go for an average of 50, so I'm going to have to hope. Actually, 
Let's save the Shadowhawk. That gives me a little more breathing room. We'll take the dragon instead for this. And this still gives me a little bit extra tonnage. I'm going to keep the Jaeger mech though. And that gives me these four mechs here for basically not quite a 200 ton area. I'm about 5 tons over. Or no, I'm about 10 tons over. 15 tons even. And the Jaeger mech would be terrible for demolition unless I have it hanging way in the back by itself. Which you know that's also a terrible idea, huh? So I want to spare this Jenner. So maybe I take the Phoenix Hawk with that said. It's got speed. It's got some durability and machine guns can be great for this. That I can feel a little more comfortable with. So 10 days to launch. I am fine with that. Now let's see if we can make this work. The last demolition did decently with very quick repairs. Hell, depending on again how the duration works out, maybe I can repair these mechs again for a third mission. Destroying the marked industrial infrastructure will destabilize the opposition's grip on this region. Something our benefactors are willing to spend a great deal of sea bills to see done. We're gonna make it happen. Let's go over there and do it again. Another demolition mission. I like being bold and it helps keep this up being nice and tense since after all where's the excitement if I go too easy on these missions huh target identified bring it down leave nothing left for them to salvage enemy destroyed that's the plan well that was Convenient. But our contract calls for us to wipe them off the face of this system. The integrity of this place is down to wow. 50%. We're halfway there. Wow. Just a wee bit more, Commander. This complex is on the verge of... This reminds me of a certain mission on a certain stream that happened with Bl Blade Boquez and Hell's Dog. Now, let's get out of here before more trouble arrives. Head to the evac zone. Enemy destroyed. I couldn't ask for much better. We just don't have salvage, is the only problem. That's the only downside here. I hope I'm not being too greedy. Trying to get this salvage. But you are pretty much dead there, Centaurian. Or Cicada. Now let's kill the spider and go home. Before this gets too costly. Everyone get in here and start killing stuff. I'm the one who took the most heaviest damage there, so let's keep it that way. Nope. Alright, are they gonna turn around? I'm at your designated position. I hope they turn around and start shooting back to get some extra kills. And to minimize damage on them. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Alright, so it's possible I may have taken too much damage there for, of course, this reoperation mission. But I want at least a little bit of salvage possibilities. Wow. I was not expecting that mission to go as quickly as it did, but it's reminiscent of another mission. For we had the same kind of base, but we were defending. So, it, needless to say, that did not go very well. That was on a co op stream the other day. But nonetheless, still took a lot of damage though, so components had to have been destroyed. That is unfortunate. That's what I get for possibly staying. 
How bad is it though? Uh, it was the dang Phoenix Hawk losing a PPC, it looks like. Not a terrible loss, but he still would like 22 days went by, dang it, that's what I was afraid of. It has some good side to it though. It means these mechs can repair for me. So that's unfortunate. I was not hoping to have that happen, but my Phoenix Hawk will get repaired after this mission. Well, no, I take that back. So actually, I'll save the repairs for later then. What is it that's taking so long? Oh, probably repairing the armor. Alright, so Phoenix Hawk's not getting repaired. You took very minor damage. So you could be up and operational for the next battle. And you're relatively cheap on the repair cost too. Dragon, 12 days. I will take it. Javelin, you did perfectly fine. So it's just the Phoenix Hawk will leave B. Ultimately, that was a damn good first mission. And while that is going to burn another 44 days, sadly, at least my crew will be able to not, they're not going to suffer any serious attrition damage. Although, what kind of mission is this? I never did check. Alright, so that's defense. So I'm okay with a Jaegermech maybe being here. Mainly because I'm worried about it running out of ammo for like a war zone. And how are we looking on tonnage? I have 20 tons left and that puts me over. Just five tons over. Hmm. Although the javelin's still in perfectly fine condition. I could swap that. Oh, it's being repaired right now. So am I okay with canceling that those repairs? I think I'm okay with canceling. At least that way I can get a full roster in. And with everyone together for this mission, that should help minimize the damage on this thing. This is a lot of reason why I want to kind of plan ahead. Because having fully functional mechs rather than this uh, possible liability in my javelin is can cost me a lot. And that single-handedly justifies it right there. But we have a Centaurian with the Shadowhawk. And the Jaeger mech. We got a lot of firepower. This thing could just hang back in a corner somewhere. And wait for the vehicles and tanks to come to it. Ideally. Let's keep it going, shall we? We got really good salvage and income on that first mission. I want to do it again. Our employer wants their factory protected from incoming hostiles. Go to its location, meet up with the site director, and prepare for a fight. Now, most important question is where can I deploy everyone or Looks place like them? We found a place, Commander. Thanks for coming, Commander. Remember that you're contracted to protect as much of this facility as possible. Oh, We'd much rather pay out your contracted bonuses than reconstruct extensive amounts of the facility. Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. Yeah, unfortunately, it might trigger them already. Heading to location. Moving, Commander. So we'll see how this works out. Although, Freeman, are you able to get up? Target acquired. Relocating to your order, Commander. Yep, they're already here, so Freeman, get to somewhere useful, please. Navigating to location. And we have some turrets to spack up. I can handle these on my own easily enough. Hopefully. Perfect. Moving. At the Javelin, go Moving here. Moving to new location. Well, that Additional that mech took a beating. Your way. On the and hopefully my Jaeger mech can get some good long range shots up there. 
That is the idea, at least. Although, 80%. That's not where I want you to go there, Freeman. I will be honest, that is, anywhere, that is not where I want you to go. That is a, some damn good hits. Oh, he just ejected. And I think that may have caused me friendly structure damage at the same time. So free. So Freeman. Me. Nope. Hold that thought. Damage to the facilities is minor at the moment, Commander. But we cannot allow such damage to cascade. Now I forgot my. Nope. To draw the enemies away from here. That is a big mech. Let's take it out. Oh, he's attacking my spider or javelin, so keep that in mind. Nice hard damage, I want to do it again. So did you target my javelin all after all this? Nope, javelin's still in good shape. Now I want to position my Jaeger somewhere better. Oh, you're in a good spot there, Freeman. Stay where you are. Moving to requested grid, Commander. If you can fire range, that means less damage on you. Perfect shot there, too. On my way. Grid received. On the move. So we're halfway there. And we're still in good shape while, as far as our objectives concerned. Although it probably does help a little bit having friendly turrets and a friendly locus. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming. Freeman, you position. were in such a good spot before. Repositioning, Commander. Get back to where you were, please. Oh, you're you're Target talking fine. about the uh, locus, are you? Take out that auto can is my main concern. Although if you're gonna get right in front of me, I guess I have little choice in the matter. All right, back to our previously scheduled program. Okay, I take that back. We have an alarm carrier to destroy. So everyone keep in range, and that'll help deal with this urban mech a bit. Well, we saw how those missiles worked. Herbie, get out of hiding. I have a very special place for you in front of my auto can tin. Help oh, miss that shot. There goes your auto cannon. Can we hide shot for good measure? Not with an auto can very well. Just because of the angle and the delay. Still doing good though. How's everyone else looking? Javelin still armored. Shadowhawk took damage all around. Jaeger mech perfectly fine. I think I found a good play, a good use out of a uh, Freeman for the moment. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. Now let's reposition just a tiny bit. Narmi mech. This is an only assassin, though. You're an easy, easy target. Nope. They're on uh, Freeman, so suddenly his good position is not so good anymore. Let's clean them up before anyone takes some serious damage here. 
You are leg. Let's finish you. One more time. And two targets left. We're almost done. That was scary for a brief moment, but thankfully they weren't they didn't have a lot of firepower. And Freeman has armor still available because of him being like completely safe all this time. I imagine if he was shot at ever if he was engaged for the start of this battle. I wanna say he would be losing his auto cans at this point. Now the big problem is trying to do that consistently with a Jaeger mech. Having that I'm such a good positioning. These people owe their lives to you. Two good missions so far. And with my mechs being repaired, I should be easily able to get ready for the war zone. And the big job there, the big task, is to see how big of a bonus I can get. See if we can double up our pay yet again. It should be doable. Just comes down to the map layout, since I don't really need to be positioned near any base. I just need a, the best position for my mechs. And we got another spider, perfect. Extra medium laser. And no small lasers, so no small lasers to last. So let's see what's the most valuable. LRM-10. So that's another million there, barely any uh, damage. So insurance pays for that really well. And my soldiers are leveling up on their skills. I like it. So far this is going out so well, the only downside is the amount of time that's elapsing. That's the only thing I'm not happy with this. Now, how do we look on mechs? Because Jaeger mech actually took almost no damage, but... Is it worth taking out again? Only 66 points of armor, but... Most of that was on the arms, let's not kid ourselves. So, what mech's missing that... Oh, I, I didn't do repairs for... My Phoenix Hawk, that's what. So now I have a decision here to make. What kind of, I think out of any of the mechs I should take the Jaeger mech. Because if it can stay as far back as possible then in theory it should not take any damage. It just might run out of ammo is the risk there. And it, it does nicely for my tonnage too. So I'm going to try it. At the very least Freeman. Hopefully I can put him somewhere where he's not going to get ganged up on. Since all the damage he did take was from that one engagement with like a cicada and a spider after all. So hopefully he should be okay. We have the opportunity to pull off a big pair day. If we can maintain this position beyond what our contract stipulates, Commander. That said, oh, we're right here. never shut up about it if your mix return to the hangar looking like Swiss cheese. Good luck. <laughs> I like it. Now, where can I go? Since the war zone should not trigger until I get to the nav point in the middle. So this has possibility for Freeman just because it protects his flank a little bit. Otherwise, is it possible I can go to the other side of this map for somewhere better? I got time to kill. I do not want to be down there, but it would be great if I can engage them from down there, maybe. If they're deploying down there, that is. Because otherwise, I'm. If it gets any colder, we're going to have sensor problems. Keep moving. <laughs> if anything, it'll help with our heat some. So I don't know the. I don't see the problem. But where to best deploy or engage? Because I see this high ground slope, but that's probably just backdrop, if I were to be honest.
not exactly a really good uh, defensive position for me. If I were to be honest. Because they're going to deploy all around this base after all. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere over here. At least the high ground slopes should protect me from flanks. Someone's not happy about the snow. And sadly that's low ground. So that's no better. So this leaves this last area over here, I guess, for me. So we'll go over. At the very least I can use this side this cliff ledge to at least cover some of my flank. It's probably the best I could do in all honesty. Especially for Freeman. Although it's really a question if he can climb up that slope at all or not. At least this is high ground for Freeman. Maybe he wants an open area like this. We'll find a good position first. Heading to location. Sadly, I have a bunch of short range mechs, so they're not the best for this. I'm at your designated position. Moving to requested location. So hopefully these two mechs can stay down here in the low ground. I kind of wish I had my Phoenix Hawk now, just because the PPC would be great. Or something with a little bit uh, longer range. Moving, Commander. On station, Commander. Hmm. Actually, right here might be better. Might be. Because I'm just worried about my uh, generator Firestar not getting close enough. Moving. And Freeman might have the opening here, the free areas or the free space he wants to just shoot at whatever he wants. A little bit uncertainty with it. I'm in position, Commander. Only one way to find out and, and see, I guess, when it comes down to it. On route to location. So long as they don't get shot at for free is the my main concern reached. with the light max. Enemy forces moving in, Commander. Get ready for them. And Freeman should be able to sh easily shoot at such a distance. It's just whether the slope obstructs them or not. Target acquired. I was hoping to keep radar contact, but not meant to be. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Hell arm carrier, we don't like you. Although it helps if I keep my missile lock. Target acquired. They are good hits, but it's only on the arm, alas. Have your fun with him. You got a lot of close range firepower to kill it, maybe. Back to your positions, let's do it again. At least I dodged the LRMs. Those, not so much. Bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get ready for some company. So that's a third of our objective so far, and we got Irby. I don't care about the locust yet. Now I do. Now hopefully they can deal with the, the locust for me. Perfect. Target destroyed. 
Sounds like they had an easy time with it. Now please get back to your positions there, boys. Because I got 150 rounds to just waste on the thing. If they're going to keep the point over there, I kind of want to have Freeman kind of move up with me. Just since he can start contributing to the damage. So I might do that once we get closer. Sadly, there wasn't as many as I would hope for that wave. Give me another target lock. You keep zigzagging your harasser. Oh, it's not harasser, it's a J. Edgar. You killed a mech? On the move. I didn't even realize they were engaged with a mech. Now, enjoy your kills. Just don't take too much damage is all I ask. You're being a little stubborn to hit, I will admit, because of your smaller profile. But we're doing good so far, I think. Nope, that was a medium mech. I saw you. Not only a cicada, nothing is scary. Yet. And you're only an SRM carrier. You're not scary. Although trying to hit this sick hat is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Well, the last two targets for this wave. Oh, and our medium is the blackjack. That I need to keep an eye on. Oh, I'm almost out of missiles. So I got. I guess I'm pretty much done as much as I can for the long range harassing. I'm engaging the blackjack and I want to engage the blackjack. Hopefully we can drag him to us. Heading to location. New target acquired. Just shoot at me, blackjack, ignore the two light mechs that are running in the open. And I have 107 rounds still. I really do want to bring the Acre Mech up, because why the hell not? Although I'm doing good damage on this thing already. Freeman, Repositioning, you get the honors to help in this firefight. Actually, everyone engaged the blackjack. I'll deal with the cicada, or try to. Oop. I was wondering what the hell did I hit. I was thinking maybe it was Freeman. Nope, it wasn't Freeman. Not yet. Oop, I hit my uh, fire starter. That's not a good plan. Finish him. He's lost most of his weaponry. All I ask is for you to hit the target. Kill quarter has been reached, Commander. Rendezvous with us at the extraction point when you're ready. 
How's health looking? Everyone's perfectly fine. At the waypoint. Ready at new location, Commander. Hard repositioning. New target. Oh, more company. Oh god. AC twenty Centaurian. That thing needs to die now. There, perfect. Auto can't disabled. I don't know how much damage my mechs took though. Now everyone get back into position. Only Freeman can move up at this point. So, we're still good there. A little bit of internals on the arm, though. Which is a small price to pay for the moment. And we have another javelin coming in, so keep that in mind. Nope, we got aircraft. Let's finish them off. If I can hit the cursed thing. And we don't want you joining this with your SRM carrier. You are the worst target to have to deal with because of your damage. And it looks like it hit our fire star pretty hard there. So you hang behind everyone else. And we have about a kilometer to go. Gotta keep that in mind. 60 rounds left. Hit that Jenner hard. Target ID received. Moving in. Yes, shoot at me, Jenner. Shoot at me. I'm the one that you want to kill. Keep shooting at me, I said, damn it. Keep shooting at me. Blackjack. Jaeger can take the hits, but I'd rather he gets support. How's my armor looking? I'm still good. I am still in a phenomenal shape. But if this doesn't die quickly, that might change quickly. Oh my god, another one. Hope I have 30 shots left. Still plenty of ammo though. Now I think it's time to start making our way towards the evac. I think that's what I want to do. Oh crap, all three of them are there. So yeah, I think it's time to leave. Relocating the indicated grid. We did good though, we did damn good. As so long as I minimized my damage. Actually, let's get everyone in the base here for the cover. 
because we got Centurion and Assassin. I didn't really plan the best about my extraction zone, which might have helped. It's getting a speedy escape. But everyone's here. We're good. And my auto cam won't be at risk of being destroyed. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We got about half our pay in, bo in a bonus, it looks like. And who knows how much salvage we got out of that, too. Hopefully we got something good. Come on, don't leave us in suspense. I want to see that big money. Sadly, a lot of time did go by. That's my only one regret. Three quarters of a million. 1.4 million total, and look at all these mechs. Sadly, well, I couldn't get the Centurion anyway. So, what's the highest value I can grab? The Javelin. Perfect. And, what else is there to get? Eh, I was hoping for tier 1 or some higher tier lasers, but or small lasers, but this works. And, I... I, oh, okay, I was going to say I may need more auto cantus, but I have four to spare, so I think I'm okay here. And the damage I'd taken basically was covered by the insurance. So that was almost as flawless as you can get. Excellent. I am happy with that. And our Jaeger mech, even though it started off damaged for that battle, made up pretty damn good and we got our funding back. Nice. Very nice. Now, with that said, I am wanting to go explore in a bit. At least go to these, un these industrial zones. And in all honesty, I want to try and avoid conflict with Davion, so... I don't want to go any conflict zones that might involve Leo and Davion, so I think I might go up here. And that will conveniently put us right next to the campaign mission, so I'm all for it. 20 days, let's get going. Everyone deserves some R&R &R after that long war we've been a part of. Sadly, it was only four missions so far, but I consider that a successful run for arguably very little in repair cost. It's definitely a far cry to before. And never mind the three mechs I just got too. So, once they're all sold, we basically get even better. And I get bonuses because of being in Davion space still. Now, I, the trick is figuring out which Javelin is the one I want to get rid of. Well, the fact that it destroyed helps a lot. Spider and Spider. There, we basically got another 3 mil out of that. 3.5 mil even. Life is good and oh my god, it's an enforcer. A nice medium range brawler with a very damn simple loadout, but it's good at what it does. And conservatively, I can get a hunchback too, I guess, for even more firepower, but I just love the Enforcer, at least thematically, and its versatility. Since it is going to have a large laser, it is going to have an Auto Can 10. Again, it's more of a brawler and not much of a. It's not. Well, since it doesn't have missiles, it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to over. It's not going to overshadow Centauri is what I'm trying to get at. But it's a good companion mech to go with it. And it's only two million. Perfect. I could get a hunchback. That's a possibility too. But I like the Enforcer more just because I can give it more armor now. Once I strip out those jump jets. And what's the speed? Sixty-four. So, same speed as the Hunchback. So, I'm not gonna lie, it is tempting to get a Hunchback, isn't it? But again, close range type of mech, when I want to be able to probably fight things at range most of the time. Again, its versatility is really damn good, because you saw how well we dealt with the Blackjack once I dived in on it. Especially when it was by itself. So, welcome to the roster. 
I am happy to have you. Now, tier 3 auto can 2s. I kind of want to avoid the burst fire though, because I don't think that's going to help me a lot. Even with the AI. I'm seriously considering a tier 2 uh, large laser though. And mm, nothing uses an LR15, so that's not worth grabbing. Machine guns were good. A couple small lasers will happily take them for the fire starter. And nothing else I want to grab here. So let's continue doing a bit of shopping, shall we? I'll just grab this large laser for good measure. Since we have an enforcer now, it's probably going to make use of it. Now everyone, repair. I just got to keep in mind of missing components, I suppose. But everyone looks like they're in good shape. We made out of that really damn well. I like to say I'm performing better. Let's see. This one we have to keep in mind. Missing weaponry. So that will be corrected momentarily. That's our most costly type of mech. And that's it. Ten days of work. I will happily accept it. Centurion, you're just armor damage. Four days. Yep, we're basically on holiday at this point if I'm going to go through industrial zones. Since this repair work is going to take no time at all. Outside my one uh, Phoenix Hawk. And this Enforcer here, which we're going to retune and get ready for combat. Can I? I don't think I can get a medium laser on there as much as I would love to fit one. Nope, it's medium slot, sadly. So that's more for close range fighting, and I don't want these jump jets. Since as we see, they're not really helpful, let alone contributing. So we'll throw on a bit of armor for you. And honestly, I kind of want to throw in extra heat sink for you, with that said. Uh... Oh, jump jet slot. Okay, so I can't even put auto can ammo there, it sounds like. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Restricting my possibilities, but I'll go with it. Do I? I think I throw in an art heat sink because of a large laser. It's going to be using it a lot. I don't think I want to throw in an extra, a tier 2 large laser, do I? Not yet. Although... I do want to seriously start upgrading mechs too. Again, it comes down to making sure I'm fine-tuning it. And these do have less heat demands. Let's keep that in mind too. So maybe between episodes I'll look into getting more out of these uh, mechs by looking at how many components I can upgrade between one of these episodes. So that way I can got time to think. And, of course, we gotta give it a paint job, but we're not done yet. We still have 10 million spin and a rare mech in these two areas, too. So I don't see why not have a look. We'll go to Altair first, and then we'll go to Terra. And then we'll make our way uh, southward and get ready for our campaign mission, I suppose. Everyone's basically on break. They they deserve some R&R &R time for how well that last series of missions went. I just don't want to burn too much time, of course. That's been my one gripe with Battletech when I played that campaign. I feel like I get punished. Oh my god. Hmm. You're putting me in a very precarious position now. Especially since I'm paying 25% more. I think I go to Terra first. At least that gets rid of the 25%. I'm willing to burn another 13 days to go back to Altair to get that victor. That was quite a find though. A fully operational victor. Although I'm not going to lie, I would have preferred it to be heavily damaged so we can get it cheap. Here's just a damn Jenner. Well, I guess we're going with our Victor in that case. 
How do we best the forge? Well, let's sell the tier zero stuff, shall we? Actually, let me see all of them again. Let's start by selling the stuff I don't want. Burst fire I don't want. Auto camp five, tier zero, burst fire, burst fire. I don't even think I'm going to use the flamers to be honest, even though they could have a place for damage potential. I just like the lasers because they do complement the machine guns pretty well. And what's actually equipped with SRMs besides maybe the Shadowhawk? Because I'm thinking of selling SRM6s. And I'll, also I should sell all the jump jets, let's be honest. Although we're... I was going to say, where are the jump jets? Since my AI basically is never going to make use of them. Although I wouldn't mind having a jump jet every now and then, but... I have to be consistently using that mech, otherwise it's wasted value. Now, I can easily afford the Victor, but I would like a little more breathing room. So, I want to sell at least the SRM-6s, I think. Alright, I'm excited for this. Let's go back. It's another 13 days, sadly. But we're getting us a Victor. I can't think of a better way to end off this episode. It's just a question on how to prepare it. Because, damn it, I kind of want to make it just a bigger enforcer with that said. And downgrade to maybe an AC-10 to give me more room. But I can't say no to what this thing could have to offer. It's perhaps one of the fastest assault mechs in the game. It's definitely one of the lightest assault mechs, which helps justify that speed. And we can get rid of the jump jets for more uh, armor. Yes, I will take this purchase despite the 25% markup. Now, it's obvious what I'm going to need to do now, besides paint our mech. We're going to have to figure out the way to get our money built back up and fine-tune this Victor. Oh my god. Exciting times today, this episode. Maybe not many, maybe not many missions, but I will happily take it. Terra Firma. Black Market multi-operation mission. Oh my god, look at the repair costs and the duration on repairs there. I want to be careful about doing missions here, I guess. And how much time will that take? 27 days. Hmm, I'm just wondering if I go straight to the campaign mission, because doing repairs here is out of the question. But I think it might be smarter just to stop partway through the cupola, just in case. Alright, let's set course. Vacation is now over. It was only five minutes long, but I hope you enjoyed your break. Now we got some new toys and new mechs for you to play with, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. And best of all, I get to name this Victor, which I don't think I've had a Victor in my Battletech playthrough. But let's have a look at these contracts. Ooh, Steiner. Oh boy, two missions that are multi-operation. House Merrick and House Merrick. Hmm. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna commit to one of these missions yet, because I do want to look into the lore of Steiner and uh, Lau to see which one I prefer. Or even if I want to support Merrick for whatever reason. Before I jump into that. But they're difficulty 21 and 22 so. And we start off with a war zone for good money. And two defenses of war zone. Although I'm already kind of getting on Lao's good side so I might start with that. Well this is exciting. What a way to end off here. We got ourselves a fancy enforcer. I'm looking forward to trying that out. And I think the truth is we're going to have to look into what mechs I should cut, since right now I technically have four mechs that serve the same role. The Enforcer, the Centaurian, the Dragon, and possibly the Shadowhawk are all exactly the same type of loadouts. Which isn't really a bad thing, but it does, it is a little redundant if you, if I would argue at least, so I'm going to have to look at the possibilities of refitting them or cutting some out. We will see though. 
but I'm excited, especially for this thing. An auto can 22 lasers and an SRM-6, or SRM-4 even. Which we can make into an SRM-6, but sadly that that's not going to work because I rep already sold all my SRM-6s, so we might switch it to an LRM with that, ki with that said. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I will see you next time when we get to put this thing in action.